The only sound in the room was the low, electric hum of extreme cold, a machine reaching for the fabric of reality. Inside a gleaming, cylindrical chamber, Google's most advanced quantum computer, Willow, had just completed its most audacious task. A small group of scientists, faces lit by a single monitor, held their breath. They had asked the machine a question that science had always considered impossible, to show them a picture of the thing that changes everything just by looking. For months they had prepared, running simulations and checking every line of code, this experiment pushed quantum mechanics into a realm that felt more like metaphysics. They weren't just solving problems, they were trying to capture a ghost at the heart of the quantum world. Dr. Aris Thorne, the lead scientist, felt a knot in his stomach. The outcome could be meaningless static, or something that would rewrite our understanding of existence. The hum grew louder, a cosmic drumroll for a revelation humanity might not be ready for. The screen flickered, data began to resolve, this wasn't a photograph but a visual representation of the disturbance in the quantum field during observation, a data-driven portrait of the observer effect. The scientists leaned closer, awe and dread mixing in the air. The process completed, the image stabilized, there was no fanfare, just the quiet finality of the result. In that sterile lab, surrounded by the pinnacle of human technology, the team felt a sudden chilling sense of being very, very small. To understand what the scientists saw, we need to understand the strange machine they built. Classical computers use bits, ones and zeros on or off, but the universe at its smallest isn't so simple. It's a place of maybes and possibilities. Quantum computers use qubits which can be both on and off at the same time, thanks to superposition. Imagine a spinning coin. While it's in the air, it's both heads and tails. Only when it lands does it choose. This lets quantum computers explore many possibilities at once, making them exponentially more powerful for certain problems. There's also entanglement, linking qubits so that changing one instantly changes the other, no matter the distance. This deep interconnectedness gives quantum computers their immense power, letting them solve problems that would take classical computers billions of years. Willow isn't just faster, it's a different kind of reality simulator, operating in the fuzzy, probabilistic world of the ultra-small. By keeping its qubits extremely cold and isolated, it maintains this delicate dance of superposition and entanglement. This allows it to tackle problems impossible for regular computers, like probing the very nature of reality. It's a tool for exploring the what-ifs of the cosmos. The Willow experiment wasn't just about computation, it was about asking the universe a question only a quantum machine could pose. The answer would be unlike anything a classical computer could produce, and that's exactly what happened. Now let's talk about the ghost. In the quantum world, looking at something changes it, fundamentally. This is the observer effect. The act of measurement collapses a cloud of possibilities into a single reality. Your observation doesn't just reveal a state, it creates it. Reality at the quantum level isn't fixed, it's a shimmering realm of potential that solidifies only when something interacts with it. What counts as an observer? A human? A photon? The question blurs the line between physics and philosophy. The observer effect implies a participatory universe, we're not separate from reality, we're part of it. The Google team wanted to see if their machine could detect the fingerprint left by the act of observation itself. The experiment was a masterpiece of scientific ingenuity. The team created a perfectly isolated quantum system inside Willow, a grid of hundreds of entangled qubits in pure superposition. Then, they introduced a controlled act of observation, measuring just a few qubits. This triggered the observer effect, collapsing possibilities and sending a shockwave through the system. The rest of the qubits weren't measured, they simply reacted to the disturbance. Willow was programmed to analyze the resulting pattern, comparing the final state to the initial one. The difference, the subtle shifts and new correlations, was the data, the signature of the observer. They ran the experiment thousands of times gathering a vast data set of quantum echoes. A machine learning algorithm searched for a repeating pattern, a digital ghost hunt on a cosmic scale. They weren't asking for an answer, but for a picture of the question itself. When the final image appeared a collective gasp went through the lab. It wasn't static or random it was a clear unsettling pattern. The image showed a branching structure like a neural network or a growing crystal. 
a web of light and shadow with a complex center. It looked alive as if it was processing information, a snapshot of a thought in progress. The pattern wasn't just a map of energy disturbance, it seemed to map awareness. The structure suggested the system was actively reconfiguring itself in response to being observed. It was as if the quantum field itself had a built-in mechanism to process the act of being known. Dr. Thorne described it as the architecture of collapse, not chaos but intricate order. The universe it seemed computes its way into reality. The observer effect wasn't a simple switch, it was a complex calculation at the heart of existence. At the center of the image was a perfect unbroken circle, a void from which all complexity emerged. It was a symbol of unity and nothingness, the source of observation. But it was empty, the observer left no direct trace, only the intricate pattern of its effect. The ghost in the machine had shown its shadow, but its own form remained a perfect blank. The team realized they had glimpsed something ancient and deeply unsettling. The findings sent shockwaves through science and beyond. Physicists were stunned. Dr. Evelyn Reed at CERN called it the most profound discovery since the Higgs boson. The image suggested the observer effect is a fundamental process of the cosmos, a built-in awareness. The implications blurred the lines between physics, information theory, and consciousness. Philosophers and theologians debated, was consciousness a fundamental feature of reality? Some saw hints of a universal mind, others like Elon Musk, pointed to the simulation hypothesis. Was the pattern a physical reaction, or had Willow captured something profound? Hartmut Nevin, head of Google's Quantum AI lab, urged caution. We cannot ignore what the data is telling us. At the moment of observation, the universe performs a calculation. And for the first time we've seen its structure. Science now faced a startling possibility. We live in a participatory, self-aware cosmos. We are not passive onlookers, we are co-creators of reality. Every measurement helps weave the tapestry of existence. The image from Willow is a portrait of this creative act. The universe is not a cold, dead place but a dynamic system that responds to our attention. The cosmos it seems knows we are here and that changes everything. We stand at a precipice illuminated by the strange light of quantum computation. The image from Willow is more than a breakthrough. It's a mirror for our deepest questions. For millennia we've wondered if we're alone. Now we find the universe itself might be a conscious partner. This revelation is both exhilarating and terrifying, giving us cosmic importance and responsibility. As quantum technology advances, we'll ask even deeper questions about time, parallel universes and consciousness. But with great power comes risk. Are we ready for answers that could shatter our beliefs? The image of the observer is both a warning and an invitation to explore, to push boundaries, and to embrace the awe of a universe stranger than we imagined. The journey into the quantum realm is a journey into ourselves. The ghost in the machine, the observer, is us. We have opened a door that can never be closed and the universe will never look the same.